The critical path is the path of least float. Now, in the examples I've described so far, this is the path of zero float. Now, remember, we've arrived at zero float because the latest start time is the same as the earliest start time. If the latest I can start it is day six, the earliest I can start it is day six, it's sounding really critical that that task starts on day six. And as we go through the project, we'll find a path where the float is usually zero, I'll show you alternatives, um, or the least. Um, in this example, uh, we've done the forwards pass through the project and calculated the earliest start time for the finish of the project is day 13. But somebody has said, oh, you've got 18 days to do this project. And so they've put in 18 as a latest start time at the end. Now, what this means is that even the critical path is indicating there is a float of five days. Because at the end of the project, day 13 to day 18, the difference is five days. The alternative is that somebody says, you've only got 10 days to finish this project. So you've done the forwards pass, you've calculated that it takes 13 days to do the project, and somebody says, only 10 days available, so you put 10 days into the latest start time for the end of the project. And you calculate the latest start times, and you find that even the critical path is not zero, it'll have a minus three figure. And this will just tell you that you should have started the project three days ago. My recommendation, regardless of anything else, always use the same latest start time as the early start time. It gives you a couple of advantages. First of all, the subtraction and addition will be easier because the floats through the critical path will be zero. And secondly, you should arrive back at zero for the latest start time of the start task. And if you don't arrive at zero, then you've made some mistake in your calculations. So the critical path will often be the zero float path through the project. And that means that if the activity is delayed, the whole project is delayed. That's why it's called critical. The critical path will be the longest route through the network and represents the shortest time to complete the project. Critical paths often shown um, in red, but there's a British standard and a, f and a proper way of showing them, which is to indicate a pair of transverse lines on the dependency arrow indicating where the critical path is. We can see here that task A is not critical, it's got an early start of zero, a latest start of three, so therefore it's got three days of float. It has to start somewhere between day zero and day three.